Yo, it's your boy Shadow, back again with another tutorial. Um, today I'm just going to show you all how to route your Xperia Play, um, flash a custom kernel onto it, and also install Gingerbread 2.3.7. Um, this tutorial will work if your bootloader's locked, or if it's unlocked, it doesn't matter, it'll still work. So, first of all, I'm just going to show you that my phone's not already rooted. So as you can see, there's, there's no super user app on there. And also it's stuck Android. Two point three point four. Okay, so what you need to do first of all is you need to download Flash Tool. Stock advanced kernel and root Xperia zip. I'll leave the link in the description down below to all those downloads. Um, once you've downloaded it, you need to you need to extract the Flash Tool zip and then install it and install all the necessary drivers what you need. And then what you need to do is you need to open up Flash Tool. Then you need to open up X10 Flasher Lib. Then you need to copy and paste the advanced stock kernel. You need to copy it and just paste it anywhere. Hold on. it anywhere in there and come out of there and then you need to connect your phone to USB oh hold on first of all you need to go into settings applications tick that box at the top unknown sources then click on development and click the box at the top USB debugging then you need to connect your phone to USB hold on Yeah, connect your phone to USB. Open device, click on memory card. Then you need to copy and paste the root explorer zip onto your SD card. now you should see root Xperia on your SD card once you've done that you can unplug your phone then the next thing you need to do is you need to click on flash tool Then connect your phone to USB again so Flash Tool can detect your phone. You can close that box. Okay, so once Flash Tool has detected your phone, you should see a lot of information come up about your phone and 
whatsoever. Then this box here at the top, the flash um, symbol, you need to click on there. Then click on flash mode. Oops, no, sorry. Close that. You need to click on there again, sorry. Click on fast boot mode. Click OK. Then you need to click on reboot into fast boot mode. If you see an error come up at the bottom, just click on reboot into fast boot. And then your phone's going to go into fast boot. You, you should see a little blue light come on shortly. Right, the blue light's on. And it's gone into fast boot mode. And then what you need to do is, you need to select kernel to flash. So you click on that. Then X10 flasher lib, that's where you put your kernel, remember, earlier. So you click on that. And then you select your kernel advanced stock boot image. And now it'll flash the kernel onto your phone. You can close all that down. So now when I turn on the phone, it'll say Sony Ericsson Advanced Stock Kernel. Keep pressing the back button to go into recovery because this kernel comes with clockwork mod. So now I'm in recovery. And then what I need to do is I need to click, hold on. I need to click on install zip from SD card because we're going to root the phone now. Choose zip from SD card. Zoom in. Root Xperia zip. And we're going to select yes. Now it's going to root the phone. Okay, so once we've done that, you need to you need to download the ROM. I'll leave the link in the description to the ROM. Once you've downloaded the ROM, um, connect your phone up to USB. Put the ROM onto your SD card. Once it's on your SD card, you just go down to install zip from SD card again choose zip from SD card and then you're gonna look for the ROM the ROM's gonna be called GIN 2 ICS V 1.0 Lite you just click on install yes now it's going to install the ROM onto your phone. The best thing to do is put before you root the phone or do anything, um, download the ROM first, put the ROM onto your SD card first before you do anything. I should have mentioned it earlier but I forgot. So 
so it's installed the ROM press back until you see reboot options reboot system now now you should have a rooted phone with um with a custom ROM The first boot takes a few minutes, so you've got to be patient. Okay, it's finished. Okay, there we have it, Android version 2.3.7. So yeah, that's it for the video, guys. Um, if you need any help, just leave comments in the section down below and I'll be sure to help you out. And that's it for the video. Please thumbs up, rate, comment and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.